Hello everybody. In this screencast, we're gonna uh, solve together a matching game. So matching game is the simple game. You can see it on the side here, on the right side. You, uh, there are tiles that are covered. You click on a tile, it shows you an image. Click on another tile. If it's a match, they stay. Otherwise, two seconds, they are flipped back. They're covered back. So then let's pick this one and this one. <coughs> so it seems that these are two bananas. You see here it says found one match. Okay. And you keep going until you, you finalize uh, all your uh, tiles. So basically here is the watermelon and so on until you find the last uh, tile. All right. So you could see that this is the game. And then when you reset, it just covers everything. And then when you reach a solution, it uh, when you find there are it's four by four. So there are eight matches, right? Because there are pairs. So I think uh, here we are. You get a feel of what the game looks like. See, I, when I click, while it's if two of them are not the same, like this one and this one, for example, you know, even if I click here, it doesn't show anything, right? If I click on something that's already matched, you see nothing happens, right? Okay. So then when you finish the game, all right, and it says game completed, you reset the game, and then it has a different shuffle of the of the cards all right so in this uh, game to build such a game of course we have to start with the layout and you can see what my layout looks like so basically again this i'm not focusing on the layout i'm not using any uh, recycler views or any special uh, ui uh, also i don't support scrolling so i i'm just mainly focused on the logic of how to build the app so i had to come up with some kind of layout quickly right all right, so you could see that the, uh, the each layout, each row is a constraint layout by itself, and inside it, it has image views, you know, and these image views have a fixed size, not not the optimal, but anyhow, here it is. So there are four rows, okay, and then there is text view to display the matching game, and then there is a button reset, and then there is a game status uh, text view. Uh, nothing too special. All right, so now. I, I will post the solution, but we want to go over the solution together, right? Or to build the app together. So basically, what I would like to do is when you click on one of these tiles, you want something to happen, right? So basically, am I going to create an event handler for each one of them? These are 16 event handlers. I want them all to share the same event handler. So this means that if all of them have the same uh, on-click listener, this means that when I click on a tile, I'd like to know which tile did I click on. And is this tile uh, already... Uh, flipped like this is it already matched uh, which when I click on a tile I want to know when I click on one of these images I want to know what image to display you know see here I'm displaying the flower um, I also so in that case I'd like to uh, first of all have an event handler for all of them the same event handler for all of them and that's straightforward also I'd like to store some data inside the tile itself so when I click on a tile I can store data and this is using uh, uh, um, a feature called tag so you can store a tag inside the view itself right so when you click you actually get the view you can then from there retrieve the tag okay so we'll go over that so what I'm going to do is I already have uh, a skeleton uh, file that I'm going to use to build this app mm -hmm. so I'll close the solution right and I'll open this one which is just the skeleton it has the layout all right here we are it has the layout okay so it's building taking a little bit of time but anyhow so my goal is to go over the solution together so here we are here is the main activity and here is the layout the layout is pretty straightforward this is these are the uh, exactly the same layout that we just displayed okay now what I also prepared just to for the sake of time is I have a, a list of IDs these are the image views so each image view has an ID. If you look here at the layout, you see here image view card zero, card one. These are the IDs of these uh, image views. And also I have uh, the drawable card. So basically you are provided with uh, values, uh, oh sorry, under drawable, there are cards. This is the first card, second card, third card. These are the cards that we would like to display. Okay. So basically these are the drawable IDs. There are eight of them, right? Okay. And I just set up the reset uh, event handler and I also retrieved the text view for the game status. All right. 
So now I'd like to uh, create my first method. So basically I said that I'm going to make the event handler handle all of them, right? So basically I would like to have the uh, one event handler for all the cards. So what I'm going to do is I'll make the activity implements uh, on click listener on click listener and basically here is implements method and on click list. So here is the on click listener here. And then basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign that on click listener to all the image views, right? So now let's create a method here, private avoid setup or reset game, set up new game, new game, here it is. So what I'm going to do is first of all, I would like to start by uh, shuffling the uh, drawable drawable cards right or I would like to create an array list array list of two times the drawable cards you know because the drawable cards are eight but you have 16 tiles you need pairs so that's what I would like to do so let's start with that so I'm going to do is I'm going to create an array list array list I'm going to uh, an array list of um, okay before we do that so these are the drawable cards so let's see so now before we do that i would like to do i will do we will do all of this stuff right uh it's an array list of integers okay so an array list of integer and we call it for example the shuffled shuffled cards ca uh, drawable drawable uh, drawable IDs equal new array list. So I have the array list. Now what I would like to do is I will loop over all the drawable cards for each uh, for each um, uh, integer. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, for each integer, I'll call it for example um, the drawable id uh, from the ids of drawables drawable id cards here it is what i'm going to do is i'm going to the shuffle ids dot uh, add and i'm gonna put the drawable id so i'm gonna put it twice in that because i need pairs right so here is the first there is the second so i'm gonna add them so basically all i'm doing here is just moving the uh, in, into shuffleable and then i would like to shuffle so i'll do collections collections dot sort and what i'm going to sort is the shuffleable ids so now here i have shuffled the ids of the uh, drawables all right good so now i have shuffled the ids of the drawables now now what i need to do is i need to set up uh, get the image views and uh, do all that stuff for the image views but you see now the shuffleable ids are now 16 and i also have 16 image views all right so now notice that what I would like to do, so I already finished this, right? Now, what I would like to do is I would like for each image view to assign it uh, an object and that object uh, will represent the state of that tile, right? So basically what I'm going to do, I'm gonna create a new Java class. I'll call it, for example, card info, card info. And inside card info, I am going to have an uh, private, integer and that's going to be the uh, image view id that's the id of the image view i'll also have another one which is private uh, integer this is the uh, drawable id you know that's the drawable id that needs to be uh, presented when the image is clicked right and then i'll have a boolean to represent is uh, is flipped meaning that is it flipped or no right so I'll call start as false and then boolean is matched so basically matched equal false so basically here it is and then I create a constructor and you'll see that so this this basically signifies the um, the status of any card right so here is a constructor with I don't need these here it is here's a constructor with these two the image ID and the drawable ID and also I'm going to create getters and setters for uh, all of them all right, I can make them private. Uh, private. I'll use the getters and setters whenever I need them. Uh, private. Here it is. All right. So I have my card info. You know, the card info maintains what's the ID of the image view, what's the ID of the tile, 
and what's the idea of the image that needs to be presented when the tile is clicked and then is the tile flipped is it upside down right is it visible and then the, the, is it matched because when once it's matched i don't want to touch it anymore right okay so i have card info so now what i would like to do is to loop over these for for i equal to zero all the way to i have the ids i want to loop over let's say the image view card ids mm -hmm. or i can do shuffleable ids dot size all right so now i have that so basically i can get the image view so integer uh, image view id equals the uh, image view card ids into uh, uh, of i and then similarly int which is the drawable id which is the uh, shuffleable ids dot get at i so i have these two very nice now i create a card info oops card info and card info equal new card info and i'm gonna pass it to the image view id and the drawable id so i passed it both of them so this creates a new state and then how do you and now i need the image view the image view image view equals find view by id or not r but i'm gonna use the image view id here it is which is which is one of these r dot id dot tc all right so i have the image view and now inside the image view i'm going to set tag you see here you can pass it an object and the tag that i'm going to set it uh, to card info so basically i'm going to start store inside the image view the card info similarly i'm going to do image view dot set on click listener to this so basically this is the main activity and main activity uh, implements the implements the uh, on click listener and basically when you click when you click on one of the images uh, this method is going to be get called all right let's go to card info and uh, do a getter and setter just to show you uh, i'll create a two string all right for the card info now when you click you see the on click listener receives a view that view is what you clicked on which is the image view right so basically i can get the image view image view image view equals uh image view i cast the view to an image view of v right so i have the image view all right so now i will uh, get the card info card info card info equals image view dot get tag you see here get tag and uh, i will cast it to card info all right perfect and now i'm going to do a log d just to show you this card info all right so i'm gonna um demonstrate that uh, that we are able to all right when you click i will demonstrate that we have a card info okay cool so now let's run this yeah we never called this method so let's call it call it here setup game okay let's run it again open the locket all right here we are when I click on uh, we called set game right and basically when you reset the game we'll also call the same function right so let's run it again mm -hmm. and basically you can see now when I click you will see that when I click on one of these let me delete that this when I click on one of these you see it's present printing the card info is here card info and there are different card infos you see when you are clicking you're getting the card info all right perfect so now we have set up new game right and basically when you set up a new game let's bring back this and double click here and bring that this so you could see what i'm talking about all right so we are able to to do most of the stuff right now when you click on a card right so we already have the image view and we have the card info so what do we want to do if the card is we want to know is it the first card or the second card that you picked right so basically what we need to do is to declare uh, something to store uh, uh, to signify uh, is it the first or the second card what is the most important part is this card info because from card info we are able to retrieve the id of the image view so we can find that image view and manipulate it we're able to also retrieve the drawable that we're going to display here we are able to identify also if it's a match or not a match so what i'm going to store is let's say card info one card info one right so this is the first card right or you could so call, call it first card info or card info one, right? And it's declared as null to start off. 
it's it's null. So now similarly, when you reset, when you set up a new game, you want to make it as null, right? And also, I would like to uh, have an integer which is the uh, match count mm -hmm. equal zero, right? Uh, how many matches you have found so far, right? So here is match count. Also, I'm going to initialize it as zero. So I have a match count. I have a card info uh, that okay perfect so now what we will do is you clicked on an image i want to know if this image is something that i want to work with or no so basically if the image is already uh, flipped meaning it's already visible the image is already visible i have nothing to do with this image you, if you click on it again i shouldn't do anything so basically what i'm going to do if the uh, card info dot is is flipped all right uh, I, um uh, what I could do is or uh, card info is matched, right? So basically, I am interested if uh, if the, if the image is not flipped, right? I'm very interested if the image is not flipped, and the image is not matched. So if it's not a matched image, match image is an image that you uh, already you don't have to deal with. It's already matched with some other image, and you're done with it. Okay, so just to remind you, we declared uh, uh, two Boolean variables. One of them is, is it flipped? Meaning that it's visible, right? Is it visible? Uh, it would indicate if it's visible or no, right? If it's true, it means it's visible. This means you can see the image. And then if you already matched it or no, that's it's matched. So basically, I'm interested in, in cards that are already not flipped and not matched, right? Now, if the image is not uh, is not flipped and is not matched, now I can deal with it, right? Now, I want to know, is it... So basically now let's go ahead. So if it's not flipped and not matched, I would like to um, flip that image to uh, to show to, uh, to flip the tile to show the image, right? So that's very easy. So I already have the image view, right? So here is the image view. Set drawable resource. Set image drawable to a drawable and uh, sorry. Set uh, image resource with a resource ID. So basically you give it the drawable. Where I'm gonna get the drawable? Card info dot get drawable. ID. So now this this means that the image is visible, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, card info dot set is flipped that set flipped to true. Right? So now it's true. Okay. So I already uh, made the image uh, flip, right? And now I need to deal with the case that is it the first image? So I could, how do I know if it's the first first image that I picked or no? By checking, see if card info, uh, card info one uh, is equal to null. This means it's the first image, right? If it's equal to null, this means that it's the first image. Then card info one, card info one equals card info, right? Now else, I'm going to do something else. So basically, if it is uh, the first, if card info is equal to null. I just uh, make card info not uh, equal to uh, null, and we're good, right? So basically, this means that I have, you have one image that you picked, right? The first image, and then I will leave, right? Else, this means that card info is not null. Now, and I have to do some kind of a comparison. So now, if card info one is not null, I can check to see if it's a match or no by doing what? If uh, card info dot get drawable ID is equal to card info dot the card info one dot get drawable id so if both of them have the same image meaning mean they have the same drawable id then this is a match this is a match all right else it's not a match right okay not match right if it's a match i'm going to do something otherwise i'm going to do something else so if it's a match what i would like to do i would like to increment so i'm going to uh, increment the uh, count so match count uh, plus plus so i incremented the count right and um after that i need to do a couple of things i need to do card info one dot is matched uh, set match to true right it matched to true similarly card info the card info card info equals set matched to true so now i both of them are matched now okay cool so the both of them are now matched and now what I need to do is I need to check to see if uh, match count is equal to 8, then the game is done, right? Then game over, game completed. Yes, 
else then else we're going to do something else so basically this is the game completed and we'll go go from there but now what i also would like to do is i after doing that i need to either it's completed or not completed but i would like to also reset uh, reset the state reset the state of what i need to make card info to give you the chance to pick another card so card info equal one equal to null and in that case i'm not gonna track the card so basically i'm just making card info one to be equal to null to reset the state so that you can come in and pick other cards all right okay so that's if it matches right now if it's complete we'll look at all these cases in a little bit but if it's not a match what i'm going to do is i need to uh do a couple of things one of them is um i need to uh um for each one of the images i need to flip it flip it back to its uh to its uh, original state so let's do that so let's write a method that does that right so i'm going to write a method that does that i'm going to create a method here uh, uh private void um flip uh or let's say it um, flip image flip image or let me just look at the my solution to see what uh, what um, what method name did I use, or I could call it cover card. I think okay. I want to cover the card, right? So basically, cover it back, right? So what I'm going to send you is the card info, and that allows you to get the image view. So I get the image view first. The image view, image view equal find view by ID or uh, card view, card info dot get image view id so here it is and then image view dot set uh, image resource to r dot id dot and there is one called uh, covered tile a uh, drawable sorry dot drawable dot cover tile here it is right and then the card info dot set uh, flipped to false right so now it's not it's not uh, false and of course the matched card i don't need to do that but anyway set matched to false right it's not um, it's not uh, so basically uh, it's not matched right so if you go back here uh, we don't need to do that but anyhow so the cover card i want it to cover both cards so basically what i'm going to do is if it's not a match i'm going to do cover card uh, card info and card info one card info uh, sorry uh, cover card card info one so this uh, returns it back to its previous state and then uh i w i have to set them to null right so basically i need to set this guy to null and here it is to null right the card info one to null and we're good to go so now what's going to happen now if we uh, uh, go back to what we were trying to do when you click on an image we retrieve the image and from the image we get the card info right by using by getting the tag and that's the class that holds that's the object that holds information about what sits behind the image what's the image id a lot of things right and basically we check to see is it flipped or uh, if it's not flipped and is not matched then we go in we display the image on the image view right and then we uh, set that flip to true right and then if uh, the card is equal to null the car, uh, card info one which we are using to track our first choice right the first selection then we just make card info one to equal to card info and we just go because we don't need to do anything else we already displayed the image and we're good to go right else if card info is not null this means that you have picked something else before and then this means that you can do a check to check to see if the drawable id here is equal to the same of one and the current one uh, uh, the drawable ids are equal this means it's a match we increment the match we set up that both of them have matched we check to see if the match is equal to eight and we'll do something about that and then the card info will be equal to null just so that we can continue the game okay um okay cool so uh if it's a match we're good to go right if it's um uh, we uh, yani technically the card info one uh, we need to set it to null because uh now we're gonna pick uh another card right so we we, we look at, at this case in, in in more detail right okay cool so now uh else this means it's not a match 
because here is the match case, right? This is the if statement for the match, else there is no match. We cover the cards, cover this card and cover the other card and then set card info to one, to one just to bring back the game to uh, an, a state where the user is now picking the first card. All right. So now that's the on-click listener, right? And let's run the game. So now we will see that the game is going to, something is going to happen. Here it is. Uh, we pick the first card, now the second card. Perfect. Matches. First card, second card. All right. So let's see why are the why are the cards like this? It seems that there is no shuffling happening. So let's see where are we set up the setting up the game. Collection dot sort the shuffle. We are looping over the shuffle IDs. Okay. The drawable IDs, shuffle IDs. We are oh, not sorting. We want to shuffle. Sorry. It's a good idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the shuffle altogether. So basically, we know that they if I don't shuffle, this means that you see I'm adding the same item um, twice. So you could see that I know that the match is the next one beside it. So here it is. You see. Now let's pick this one. I know the match is here. Let's pick this one. You see when I pick this one, it automatically disappeared. Why? Because you see if it's not a match, you see here. If it's not a match, we cover both cards. So basically, what we would like to do is to delay this a little bit. You know, we want to delay it because you see it happens too quickly. You see here, boom, it's happening too quickly. We want to delay it. So in order to delay, there is a way to delay by uh, scheduling uh, a, a function, uh, scheduling a functional block or a code block to execute within some time, right? And you do that by uh, using this post delay. You use that. Use the image view, image view dot post delay. All right. So here it is, image view dot post delay. Okay. And you see here, post delay requires two things: a runnable and uh, the milliseconds. The runnable. Okay. So let's do that. New runnable, and here it is. And then the post delay. Let's say we're gonna wait for two seconds. So two seconds is two hundred milliseconds. Here it is. And then basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put this code here. Okay. So I want this code to execute here. Okay, so why did I do post delayed? We're gonna look in more detail when we look at uh, multi-threading and so on. But post delayed is a way to uh, communicate with the main thread and uh, inject into the main thread a runnable, and that runnable is just scheduled this run function to run after two hundred two thousand milliseconds. All right, so now if we run this, you will see that it will wait a little bit before. Uh, okay, here it is one, and we know that the answer is here. We're good. We're here. And then you see, wait a little bit, and then it's going to disappear. Why? Because we scheduled it in two, 2,000 milliseconds. Here it is. You see? Boom. All right. So another thing to keep in mind is that what if the user clicks? So I go here. Uh, no, I click here and here, and then I click here. You see, it's displaying things as I'm clicking. And of course, the, the app uh, will go crazy. So what I would like to do is that while I am uh, going to schedule this post delay, I don't want the click to operate, right? I don't want this whole click to operate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a Boolean variable. And I'm going to say is waiting, right? And I will say false, right? And what I'm going to do is that here, I will check to see if is waiting right if it's not waiting right if it's not waiting then continue with whatever you are doing so basically i'm going to do all of that stuff right if it is waiting right if it's not waiting so now b when before we schedule the task what i'm going to do as i'm going to do is waiting to true right and then when i am done i'm just going to set is waiting to false and initialize is waiting to false when uh, the uh, the app starts. It is waiting to false. And even when I am uh, uh, set up new game, I'm going to do the same thing. Here is um, is waiting to false. All right. Cool. So that's what I'm going to do. Basically, all what I did is I declared a global variable called uh, is waiting and it's false. Now, if it's not waiting, this is I'm saying if it's not waiting, then go in. And you go in here and then you make waiting to equal to true and then you a you schedule something and this means that when the user clicks uh, on any of the tiles at that moment nothing is going to happen because it uh, is waiting is true and um, uh, is uh, is waiting is true and uh, true not uh, here you are looking for a false right 
So basically, it's uh, not going to execute. So let me, let me show you this. Here it is. All right, we pick the first one and the second one. You see, I'm clicking, nothing happens. You see? Why? Because there is waiting. Here we are. And I'm clicking, 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 nothing happens. You see? Click, click, click. I'm clicking, 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 nothing happens because of the is waiting. Perfect. So now we are doing that. Let's now set up the text that displays. And that's very easy. So what I'm going to do is that here nothing happened. Here we bumped up the number. So I'm going to do text view uh, set text to, let's say, for example, uh, match count count is and then we just concatenate with it the match count all right and also uh, if it is completed I'm just going to go in and say uh, game completed right all right so here is game completed and then similarly also um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this from here and when you reset the game when you are resetting the game or you are setting up the game i am going to set it up to this so the match count is zero already and we'll go from here so now you will see that i have the status done so basically when you go in you match something i'm gonna update the count and uh, this one is when nothing matches so i don't need to touch the, the text field here so now let's go and do it again of course i'm making it a very easy game by you see here match count match count and when it doesn't match we wait two seconds there's match count match count match count match count and we'll complete here it is we reset the game yes we need to wire it up such that when you click reset game it actually resets the game so button reset set up new game hmm why is it not setting up the game um Uh, okay, we didn't set up the image view that will display to be the cover tile, right? So here it is. We need that here. So you see set tag. Uh, the here we are. Image view set it up to be cover tile, right? Now why did it work the first time? Because you see by default they are already having. By default it has the uh, the cover tile, you know. Anyhow, so go here and here and reset you see everything is reset we go here and here here and here you click on reset everything is reset now you, to show you that this is working here it is the ones that i reset and here is the reset is working all right perfect so now uh, to fix the shuffling situation i just have to comment out this this makes it easy to debug when you don't have the shuffle because now i have to actually play the game <laughs> you know anyhow so we are here go back one two all right three four i think uh, there was a grape here okay there we are and so on good yeah so you can go and play the game <laughs> you know it's an interesting game anyway so here we are i think it's this one here it is okay and then this one is possibly and i see i can click while waiting mm -hmm. all right we won the game and you can see this is how the game is played all right it's pretty straightforward very simple you just have to think about uh, using these tags is a good idea uh, you can do it without tags but i think it's going to be a little bit more complicated to do it without tags but you can try all right please let me know if you have any questions thank you